uh, as you know, um, I haven't, or may you may know, I haven't been on my channel for about a month as I was had suddenly gotten myself immersed into this project of creating these cards, and it's actually uh, three sets of, of cards together that create a deck of 108 cards called the Intuit uh, Nuance Oracle Trio. And I have the first two decks together here. It's based on Lenormand, but it also has aspects of tarot and um, through the signs of the zodiac and through planetary influencers, and it has spirit animals. So super fun deck to work with. I've really enjoyed giving and creating readings with these so far. We're going to take a look at one of you and the other. This is a heart of the soulmate reading. It could be a twin flame. It could be a deep soul connection. It could um, be just somebody you're interested in and you're wanting to know what's going on between the two of you. I'm not stating which side is which. You can resonate with either side as you, um, however you feel. So this is interesting. We actually got two cards here that are uh, are the matched out of um, the two different sets. This is the key and the traditional Lenormand, which is number 33, the um, eight of pent. Uh, I'm sorry, eight of <laughs> um, eight of diamonds. And then in the nuance Lenormand, I chose the bellows because the key paired with certain cards actually has this idea of ignition and things taking off and a big breakthrough or you know fuel to a fire kind of thing and when we get both of these I really feel like it's a very strong indication that we're gonna see some big changes in fact when we have the key and the road in the norm and the traditional meaning of key and road together is that someone is um, truly gets the go-ahead to make a decision to move forward in a certain direction. So wherever there hasn't been movement, you're going to have movement. It's like this huge impetus for change and for a, a, a decision to be made and for moving forward in a new direction. And on top of that, we have the bellows, the catalyst, something. So something in particular gets this, to, to makes this happen. A solution comes through, some kind of genius or insight insight, clarity into a situation. Something occurs with this person that gets them going in a decision unlike um, had taken place in the past. Now on this side we have here, um, I'm feeling like this person here, uh, first of all, the tower in the middle can talk about um, corporations, institutions, and things like that, but it also can just be about being alone and um, standing alone on your own. And so I'm feeling like what was happening with the two of you is that there's been a loan um, going on, and yet, in spite of that, you have or they have not let go of feeling, you know, the connection, the love, the friendship between you. Friendship is what's highlighted here versus romance when you have the heart with the dog. The dog is about that really loyal friend and devotion and, um, you know, that that a faithfulness faithfulness here in spite of separation is what's going on with these with this person here I feel like they've just been in this holding pattern have been held solid I don't see anything like here saying that that shouldn't happen or shouldn't occur like that's fine that's just you know kind of what it is but you're gonna see some changes here let's take a look at what's going on between the two of you Wow okay so um, we have the mortar and pestle which is about things getting broken down in order to create something new and more and better and um, you know making a new potion it's alchemy it's it is um, it's creative and you know creation of something but it's also what it creates is usually something that's very beneficial so what you've been going through here and this is feminine whether this is you or the other person the feminine has really been going through um, this in order this experience in order to achieve balance and that's being highlighted between the two of you right now because it, what it's saying is like I'm feeling like a lot of a lot of divine feminines have been frustrated because I feel like this is most likely a divine feminine here because there has been the separation the aloneness the um, you know, you've been the supportive friend. You you've you know been been there for that person, and I they know it. And yet, you know, like there's still this being alone. It's been frustrating, but in this process of that, you know, going on and happening, it's given you time and a space and a place to truly alchemize your um you know everything in your life to cr truly create something more and better and you know expanded and greater 
than you would have been otherwise and it's helped you bring balance. It's also saying to, uh, you know, to turn to meditation, being centered, being aware, and, you know, focus on your mental well-being being and feeling complete on, you know, on your own right now. That's just for whatever reasons what we're being advised to take a look at. Um, let's do planetary influences over the situation. These are um, bonus cards that are available only during my Kickstarter or, or for people who are part of the Kickstarter campaign. So if you're interested in getting these 10 extra cards with your set, that would be how to do it. The Saturn Saturn comes up. It is the um, the world card in tarot. So we're talking about completions of some kind of cycle. And so that is really good to see. I do feel like we're, we're talking about completions of a cycle when we see so much movement here. A decision, a change, catalyst, movement. And so there is a cycle here completing. Um, and I, you know, would like to say I would that we're going to see some evidence of that on both sides. You know, both of you are going to see cycles having complete, coming to completion. And yet the Saturn is also the the ruler of um, of I want to say what did I have here? Restrictor, yeah. It's it's re restriction, um, restraint, holding. You know, the the regulator. And so it's like. It's frustrating, but this thing, this situation has been held this way for a reason. In order to give time for the mortar and pestle to do its work and to come into balance. And it even can be, we have the feminine here, but it even could be that, you know, this is also within the feminine aspect of the masculine. Both of us were learning to do this with our, you know, feminine side of ourselves. So let's take a look at a time frame of when we could see this change. Oh, actually animals. Spirit animals, I'm just going to pull one. Give us some guidance from the spirit animals here. Rabbits, new beginnings. Okay, so we have a completion of a cycle here and a new beginning. That's really great to see. And it is about desire. It can even be just specifically talking about sex and procreation, fertility, multiplying, a sudden increase. Experiencing a sudden increase of, you know, what it is you desire is really the idea there. Let's take a look at a possible time frame. I use the Zodiac cards for that. And let's see what uh, Virgo might see as a possible time frame for seeing this new beginning, the completion of the cycle, the new beginning, the shift and the change here. And we have... Aquarius, which um, we're, we've just passed that time. So it could be, you know, in some cases we're going to see a, it might be a year until you see that change during the time of Aquarius or during the winter, but we're still in winter, so it could be soon. And it could even be within two to four weeks because um, you'll see some evidence is what I'm asking here. When will you see some evidence for this completion of the cycle, the um, new beginning here? And that's what I get for, for you guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, following my channel. If you are interested in getting a set and being a backer of my Kickstarter, that would be awesome. And you can find information about that in the link below. We will talk to you soon, and I'll certainly be around for readings again. Probably uh, we'll get them up next uh, Friday or Saturday. We'll, we'll see you then. As a longtime tarot card user, I recently took the leap into learning Lenormand, another great intuitive divination tool for accessing the higher knowing of our subconscious mind. Developed in the 18th century by a famous seer, it has a unique voice and direct approach to everyday matters in life. With just 36 cards and simple imagery of things like the sun, the moon, a letter, or a tree, this system delivers thousands of specific meanings through corresponding two-card pairs. That's a vast possibility of intuitive messages, but the task of becoming proficient in its use is truly daunting. To tackle the learning curve, I decided to create a Lenormand-based oracle of my own that would be visually appealing, but also contain easy-to-read keywords to convey the card's various possible meanings and contain additional cards that could represent the most common two-card pairs. It would also include timing cards, because who doesn't want to know when something is going to occur? The final result of my creative design process has yielded a trilogy, three sets of 36 cards for a total of 108. The picturesque Lenormand Oracle is a beautiful, classic oracle 
with warm inviting images evocative of old photo albums. The Nuance Lenormand Oracle contains additional cards that were carefully chosen to represent the meanings of the most common two-card pairs from the Lenormand. The Zodiac and Spirit Animal Oracle contains 12 cards to represent each sign of the Zodiac and to address timing, but also to show up in a breeding as a particular person, similar to the Tarot Court cards. A number of animals showed up with powerful things to say. Their voices add nuance and reveal secrets of spirit and remind us of our connection to Source. I'm also offering a collector's bonus exclusive to this campaign. It is 10 additional cards that are the planets, including the sun and the moon, and when paired with the 12 signs of the zodiac, they actually form the major arcana from the tarot. This Kickstarter will fund the first run edition of the Nuance Oracle Trio, and subsequent sales will finance the completion of Intuit, an intuitive divination app I've developed based on the tarot and the Norman. The rewards are as follows. I'm completely finished with the Intuit Nuance Oracle Trio card images. So as soon as the campaign is over, they will be sent immediately to the printers. Thank you so much for your support. I truly can't wait until they're printed, packaged, and shipped to you. And I'm confident that you'll enjoy using them as much as I have enjoyed creating them.